you know, one in 10 pregnancies are affected by gestational diabetes mellitus in India. And more than 5 million people are having diabetes in pregnancy in India. Hi, I am Dr. Vipin VP, consultant endocrinologist. Today, we are going to discuss an important topic, gestational diabetes mellitus and the importance of self-monitoring of blood glucose in pregnancy. How frequently you should monitor your blood sugars in pregnancy? As per the RSS GI guidelines, you should check your blood sugars at least four times in a day. The fasting blood sugar, the one hour post breakfast blood sugar, one hour post lunch blood sugar, and one hour post dinner blood sugar. So four times a day, you should monitor your blood sugars in pregnancy. So what should be the targets? The fasting sugar should be less than 95 milligram per deciliter, and one hour post meal blood sugar should be less than 140 mg per deciliter for the successful management of diabetes in pregnancy. By monitoring the blood sugar values before and after meals, you are getting the profile of the patient, which helps the patient as well as doctor to manage the blood sugars well in pregnancy to prevent the complications such as the need for cesarean section as well as the postpartum infections. It is important to monitor the blood sugars after delivery also. So it should be monitored in the hospital for the first 48 hours then if it is normal, it should be monitored after 6 to 12 weeks of delivery. And if it is normal, it should be again monitored after one year to make sure that the patient is not having diabetes mellitus after delivery so that we can prevent the complications due to diabetes for them. Make sure that you are using a good quality ISO certified glucometer to measure the blood glucose reading because the accuracy of these readings are important to manage the diabetes mellitus in pregnancy well. So remember, monitor your sugars, measure your blood sugar levels and manage your diabetes well for the successful outcome of the pregnancy.